Transformer, my Optimus Prime. Like, that's legit. We're live right now. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. She watches this. Says, says, oh, All right. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday again. This week, uh, look, I wore this especially for my friend Mark Stock today. So this week, um, we have client manager doesn't count as a question. Client manager, uh, Mr. Mark Stock. Hi. What states, what hospitals in particular do you work with does not count as a question? Um, I, uh, I work on uh, Wisconsin is a big one for me. Okay. Um, that's one of my biggest. Okay. Uh, Minnesota um, is also another uh, really large account for me. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, again, uh, Michigan. I have Michigan as well. Mm -hmm. And then Massachusetts, which is actually super huge for me right now. Massachusetts. So, um, and then I have a little sliver in, in California, um, the Sutter account out in California. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. It, I mean, it's a good account, absolutely. Yep. So uh, I noticed it is, it is uh, louder over here than in other parts of the building. I don't notice um, no? the loudness. I think I'm used to it because I've been sitting here for so long. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. Okay. Uh, so I guess maybe you have to talk just a little bit louder. So oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'll, so try, there we go. I'll try to speak up a little bit. I there we apologize. go. How's that? All right. You ready to get into this? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Question one. Now, I don't have any fun pictures because you're you're the one person I know in the world that is still not on Facebook. I, you know, I'm not on Facebook. Um, everybody keeps hounding me about it, and I'm just, I'm going to hold out until the bitter end. I to just the, don't want to do it. To I, the uh, bitter end. I don't, you know, I, I don't understand all this time that people spend on Facebook. Like, my wife's on there all the time, so, you know, if, if I want to know about what's going on, I just ask her to look at something, but... Gotcha. Um, You're yeah. missing out. You are missing I, out. I know. Everybody says that, too. Okay, so... So since you are not on Facebook, tell me who Mark Stock is. Oh, geez. Um, Let's do this. Well, uh, like personal or professional or just kind of combination of both? All the above. Okay. Well, let's start at the beginning. Right. Um, uh, I am from Nebraska. I grew up here. Um, I was born in, in Berlin, Germany. I'm an Air Force uh, brat. I didn't know that. So You were born uh, in Berlin? I was. The city of infamy. Oh. Ah. Um, I don't really remember a lot about it because I was real young when, when uh, my dad was stationed over there. Okay. Um, but uh, grew up in Bellevue, Nebraska. Yep. Um, Just down the road here, not too far. Right, right next to the base. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, uh, you know, went to school, public schools uh, in Bellevue as well. Um, uh, as far as personal, mm -hmm. um, just kind of a you know a huge nerd. Gotta be honest. Uh, collect you know toys, comics. Um, we'll get into that. Just yeah, all kinds of stuff. Um, yep. uh, when I was a kid, I was a skater. Um, I played in a punk band, um, guitar. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't know that either. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Wow. I, I was a huge snowboarder at one point in time. I did know that, um, yeah. but I blew out my knee, and then uh, that kind of ended my snowboarding. Um, Chris is always trying to get me to get back to on go course, back out. But yeah, that's the uh, van shirt you wear all I the want time. To be walking, here. Yeah, yes. everybody asks me about the van shirts. We can talk about that too later. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But uh, wife, uh, yep, wife and uh, Amy and a uh, son Luke, um, mm -hmm. four year old. So I'm experiencing that for the first time. Your son's name is Luke. I'm somehow not surprised by that. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone who was thinking that who was our age, that's exactly why he named his son. Luke. Absolutely. There you go. So, Star Wars. Okay, so question two. Where did your love of toys, comics, all that, where did that come from? Uh, you know, I think it was uh, when I was a kid. Um, we didn't have a lot of money when we were growing up. And so, like, you know, getting a G.I. Joe or, you know, a Star Wars action figure um, in the 1980s was a huge deal for us. Um, I think some of the, you know, like the greatest Christmas presents that we ever got as kids were, um, you know, G.I. Joe toys and mm -hmm. or, you know, some Star Wars figures and things like that. Um, also, uh, the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System uh, was oh, a big yeah. deal for us. I think that was Christmas of 85. Big deal. Um, yeah. I, I, I had a, like a, I remember I had a poster stuck to the back of my door, mm -hmm. um, and I had like checked off the number of lawns I was going to have to mow in order to save up the money for it. Yep. And then we ended up getting it for Christmas that year, and so that was like a huge, huge deal for myself and my brother. That so. is awesome. That, yeah. that I mean, I, I, that's probably where a lot of uh, guys our age. Yeah. That's where that comes from, right? Um, and, and I remember even like the pre Nintendo days, like uh, there was a place in Bellevue. People probably would not never remember this, but there was a place called Top Dog Hop Dog. Um, on what is now um, Highway 370 in Bellevue. Okay. Um, and this was way back in the day. And uh, our my Cub Scout troop had a, uh, a lock-in at that place, and they had 
uh, the original arcade version of Mario. This is before uh, oh, yeah. before Nintendo came out. Super Mario yeah, One, the original. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Um, and then there were a few other games that really stood out, like Gauntlet and things like that yes. in, in the arcade. That just you know, I, I, I yeah. just have always been into just the nerdiest mm -hmm. stuff. So, but the uh, Ranger needs food badly. Oh, absolutely. Yep. yep. That's and how you know you're about to die. For those who remember <laughs> Gauntlet, the game. So, all right. So, question three. We're gonna play a game. All right. Since I don't have any pictures of you because you're not on Facebook, you still yeah. live in 1985, I guess, yeah, or something. I do. We're gonna play a game. So you can't look at the screen. Okay. Pac-Man, Bridget, you are absolutely right. Um, you can't, do not look at the screen. I'm going to play okay. a clip, an We're, intro song from a cartoon from the 80s, and then you need to tell me what song that is. Okay. And they will get progressively harder. Okay. Okay, so you can't look at the screen. All right. So I'm going to show everyone. This will be, this is number one here. Don't look at the screen. I'm not, I'm not peeking. Can we hear it? Let's see. You better stop before they say the name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me what that one was. Uh, that was Mask. That was Mask. Is anyone... <laughs> mask? Uh, which is spelled with a K, by the way. Absolutely. Or Command. Yes. Com I, I'm sure that's an only 80s thing, because... Only, yeah. only like, certain ones of and us would know apparently that. Apparently they're so. going to make a Hollywood movie. They're going to make a movie. Uh, pretty soon, so we'll see. I, I'm not a fan mm -hmm. of Hollywood at this point. No. Yeah. Let's not, we're not going to talk about He Loves Transformers... <laughs> Does not like Michael Bay. Oh, We're not going to no, bring that up. No, no, no. No. All right, number two. This is the second one. Once again, don't look at the screen. Not looking. This is the this is the second one. I will turn it up here. They will get progressively harder. The days of long ago, from uncharted regions of the universe, comes a legend. I can't play it because they're going to say the name here. Uh, gosh, I'm not sure on that one. That could be. You know, I, I uh, Silverhawks maybe. Mm, close. Nope. Oh, it was Voltron. Yeah. Voltron. Voltron. Sorry, I, you know I watched a little bit of Voltron, but I wasn't the hugest fan of that that particular series. No. 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 Okay. No. This one probably might be easy. It could be difficult okay. for some right. others out there. This is later '80s, probably. Oh yeah. I got. You can turn it off. I'll tell you. Yep. Uh, that is the X-Men. That would be the X-Men. I actually that is... have that whole series. That's correct, the X-Men. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a, a, a copy off eBay the other day for a few bucks. Oh, so. there we go. Okay, so now this will be the hardest. Once again, do not look at the screen. Not, I will be super I'm impressed not. if you get this. Okay. Trying to find this was amazingly difficult. No? I don't know. No? Wait a minute, give it a second here. Look at the screen. No? Is it uh, Jason the Real Warriors? Mm. Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for anyone our age, that they would have. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hulk I mean, Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Uh, you know, for me, it was always the big three. It was the He-Man, mm. it was the G.I. Joe, and then, of course, the Transformers. And Transformers. So. Which, in all three of those, they yeah. say the name at the very beginning of the theme song. Yeah. Much harder to... Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there you go. There you go. Bridget, you're absolutely right. We are all old. You are 100% oh, right. So old. Exactly. <laughs> so question four. I like this question a lot. I'm going to keep this one. If you weren't doing this... If you weren't a client manager for us here at Atlas, what would you be doing? Uh, you know, um, I have always liked to help people um, in every job that I've ever had. Um, and, I, and I've, you know, as I go back over my career, um, you know, prior to coming to Atlas, I was a supervisor for a claims technical team over at uh, Prime Therapeutics, which is a uh, part of Blue Cross Blue Shield. So mm -hmm. I do have a little bit of knowledge, but I mean, just helping people in general. Like, um, you know, I always loved having people get promoted um, and helping them through, you know, anything, uh, even just in their own personal lives. I had a lot of really, really, you know, uh, people that I had helped get promoted into those teams when I was over there, um, and, and, and they've moved up, and a lot of those people are in higher up positions now in that company. Um, just a lot of personal satisfaction of watching that stuff happen. It's funny, the, um, the, the manager at my 
old company that, uh, where I left actually started out as a rep on my team, and then ended up she ended you know coming to uh, you know starting the call center and then moved into a supervisor and then hmm. moved up to to manager. So it was it was a uh, yeah. that's really cool. It was great. Yeah. So it kind of fits to be a client manager here. Then oh, like yeah. it, it was a, just a natural fit for you. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know. I just I really like working with the hospitals. Um, you know, I, I like making sure that uh, you know we're trying to help help these nurses get jobs. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we're trying to make sure that we're getting the right people um, for Atlas, but also for the hospital as well, right? You know, mm -hmm. we we want to make sure that you know we're getting them a quality nurse that is going to you know do the right thing. I, I mean, if there's one thing I love about Atlas. It's that we do do the right thing, um, and you know I can think of several different examples uh, when that's happened. Um, you know, just recently, uh, I want to say uh, we had a situation come up where uh, a nurse had a contract that got canceled. Um, and this was in Wisconsin, and uh, you know the vendor called us and they were like, "Hey, you know, we just want to know, uh, you know, are you guys paying out your nurse, um, you know, for this this contract? Because we know you're able to bill her for these additional two weeks." And we said, absolutely, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna yeah. pay the nurse not only her hourly rate, but we're gonna give her her stipends as well. Yeah. And she said, okay, that's great because we're hearing from, you know, the grapevine that some of these companies out there were not paying their nurses. Sure. And I straight up told her, I said, you know, Atlas has a policy called "Do the Right Thing," and it's it, we actually have that on a, you know, a, a, one of our mm -hmm. our posters that says "Do the Right Thing." Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And sometimes um, the right thing, especially in that case, for yeah. those two weeks, didn't equal. I mean, it didn't equal money, right? I mean, it's just yeah, you're paying that out to that know, nurse. For us, it's about the long term relationship. You know, we we want to build relationships with not just the hospitals, but with our, our nurses as well. Yeah. You know, we want to work with you guys for a long time, not just one contract. You know, we're not going to nickel and dime you guys to death. Um, you know, yep. that's just not something that Atlas does. It's not worth it. It's not the focus of this company. So, yep. You got it. All right, number, question five. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Uh, that I haven't been or just in general? In general. Um, you know, I love London. Um, my wife and I honeymooned there for a couple weeks um, when we got married. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but London's great. London? Um, yeah, it's just... It, you know, well, a I can talk to everybody there, so you know, because I speak the mm, language. Speak English, um, yeah. That's kind of important yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like France as much because you know you can't talk to as many people. French, um, but London was really, really great. There's just so much to do there. There's so many things to see. Um, I mean, you could spend, you know, a year there and probably never. And see never everything. see everything. Yeah. Did you go to Abbey Road? That'd be fun. We did. That'd we be actually fun. walked right across it. Um, That'd be pretty sweet. Yep. We went to the British Museum. You know, saw all that. Cool. Um, absolutely everything. All right. Well, Mark, thank you so much yeah. for being with us today. I appreciate it. I knew this one was going to be a lot of fun. So, uh, and plus, no pictures. I don't. It you just, know, I, I think I can maybe provide some after shots. Uh, my wife uh, recently got me a Christmas present of a an eighty shot of my brother and I posing, oh. um, uh, almost uh, stepbrother style, with our plaid shirts on, and Get I had the, uh, the bushy hair and things like that. So. I will, uh, I'll bring that in. Amy, and, uh, so Mark says you watch these things. If you're watching, <laughs> help us out here. Help yeah. us out. This will be on his, it, it'll be on Facebook. It'll be on the Atlas site. It will also be on the uh, on the Atlas webpage too. So yeah. I would love to see some of those. That'd be a fun follow-up. Yeah, so. that, that picture's uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. <laughs> so I, I, I might try to talk my brother into doing a recreation one of these days. That but, could be funny. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah.